Bitch, guess what I'm motherfucking filming today? Prepping the science, bitch. Shh. Don't tell anyone. This episode of Bremen the Science Bitch is taking a while because I really wanted to make it special and bitch, let me just say I'm so proud of it, bitch. Hi guys! Okay, so I just finished filming my Bremen the Science Bitch videos and now I have to film um, plan of the motherfucking day and I'm motherfucking tired. I just got out of the shower because I just took off all my motherfucking makeup but you know what, that's what I get for being so multi-talented. I mean being, uh... Or song mother after actress at the act this like the motherfucking side star guy yeah 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 alcohol water the world and the motherfucking newest MTV star and on top of that I'm a mascara master serial critic and a motherfucking newest botanist in town and commercial model I'm tired but you know what it's me Bremen Rock and you're motherfucking watching Plant of the motherfucking day. <laughs> I don't even know which one of you motherfucking bitches want to be the star of Plant of the Day today. Like, oh my gosh, which one of you bitches? Mm -mm. Bitch, I hear you, girl. I, bitch, I hear you, bitch. I hear you. Okay, let me take you down. All right, we have the star for today. Uh, for today's Plant of the Day, we have the Ripsilla. Oh my god, I forgot what it is called. For today's plan of the day, we have the Reptilis Baxifera. Oh my god. Some people call this the cactus mistletoe or mistletoe cactus. Um, like other cactuses and succulents and whatnot, this is very drought resistant. So don't overwater her, bitch. Like, leave her the fuck alone. She will grow. Actually, I don't know if this is the Reptilis that I know that produces, like, berries. But, like, I think... I think so. Please don't quote me. Please don't quote me on this. Oh my god, I don't want to get in trouble by the plant community. But I feel like you guys can eat this. Um, it's like berries, I guess, and you can eat it. There's plenty types of Rapsilis. I'm gonna show you guys a really furry one. Um, in just a sec. Hold on. This is another type of Ripsalis or Ripsilis. Honestly, I've heard so many motherfucking ways of pronouncing it. But yeah, this is the furry one. As you guys can see, she's a baby girl. Yeah. And I have this cute little um thing to hold. Oh, uh, there's two lotuses that bloom today. I'm gonna have a motherfucking great day today. Except for that ant that got stuck there. I'm so sorry, girl, but... Uh. Guys, it's Bremen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bitch, my fucking cat just attacked a bird. What the fuck? What the fuck, bitch? What the fuck? Anyways. Shakira. You act like I don't fucking feed you, girl. What are you doing with all this bird? Hi guys, it's me, Bremen Rock, and you're watching another episode of Bretman the- Oh wait. Wrong motherfucking intro, bitch. Oh my god. Hi guys, it's Bremen Rock, and you're watching another episode of Plant of the Motherfucking Day. <laughs> now that's a fat cock dress. So, for today's plant of the day, we have the infamous spider plant, or her scientific name, Chlorophytum commism. Bitch, I don't even know how to fucking say that. Um, the cats like this plant, so I really recommend um, putting it up, because one time I put it down, and my cats ate about, like, six strands of this. Don't know if it's poisonous for them, but they're alive and thriving. You know, I'm talking about the cats. Um, it's easy to propagate this shit. You just cut this off right here, and then you have babies. You stick it into your soil, and yeah. 
Um, what can I say about the care for this? It's really easy. This is one of those plants that likes to be neglected, but not quite as neglected as like the snake plants. You do have to water them. Not that often, to be honest with you. But yeah, this is the spider plant. She has a lot of nickname. A lot of people call this the airplane plant um, and other things. But yeah, fuck, my fucking arm's getting sore.